This video is sponsored by Issue. Hey everyone, I have a tip for you that's going to knock your socks off. And you know why? Because it's super interesting and because it's been staring at you in the face for probably over a decade. Now look at this picture here. Look at this picture. I have many different pictures in one file. So what I would like to do is get a better overview of all of my image information. And what I'll do is I'll click my workspace tab and I'll choose the image inspector. The what? The image inspector. Don't you know the image inspector? Well, it looks like this. Yes, it's the links panel. So this feels a little bit like a Scooby-Doo unmasking scene, like, oh, it was the links panel all along. So what I can do is I can configure this to my heart's content. Look at this, I have larger thumbnails. I can take a look at unique information here. For example, I can see that this Illustrator file is using a Pantone color, which is interesting because it was here, I couldn't delete it, but I couldn't localize it either in my document. Well, now I can, which is super interesting. I can take a look at shutter speed, ISO, camera, metadata description, dimensions, anything I want. I can see scaling percentages, and you know what's even cooler? I can take any of these columns and just drag them to a different location if I want to, and then save that if I want to as well. What I like to do is take this column that has the page numbers, move this to the very first column, and then click it to order all of the links according to the page number. So now I have all the links for page one, then page two, then page three, etc. And this works for everything. You can click any of these columns and then order the information there as well. How did I do this? Very simple. You click the links panel flyout menu. You go down and choose panel options. From here, I um, collapsed the multiple links to the same row. And I also hit the show in link info. And from here, you can just click the show column checkboxes as much as you want. Just check all the information that you would like to check in here. And there's actually one uh, option that's really unique, which is the place date. And the place date will show you the exact date when you placed a certain image. So I placed a few of these images here today. And um, if you've placed these in different uh, on different locations or different days, then you will have this update as well, which is really, really cool. And on top of that, you can take all this information, right click, and you can choose copy info, copy info for selected links, then head down to your good old pal Microsoft Excel, and then choose edit, paste special, paste as text, click OK, and boom, you've got all of your link information as a beautiful spreadsheet as well, if you would ever need so. Well, that's it. Configure the links panel to your heart's content, save it as your own custom workspace, and you have your very own image inspector. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. For thousands more InDesign tutorials and articles, be sure to visit InDesignSecrets.com. While you're there, sign up for our free InDesign Tip of the Week. Thanks for learning with us.